Okay, so this week's hope vid is about vermiculture and vermicomposting. So I'm going to show you how to do it and what you need and everything. Uh, this will help cut down on the waste that leaves your house. And if you have plants, it's good for them. If you can't have pets, it's sort of a way to sneak them in. Vermicomposting is composting using worms. Now I showed you... Oh, there's stuff growing on that one. <laughs> I showed you a picture of the worms I got. I'm going to see if I can uncover them a little bit. Yeah, there's a big lump full. Oh lord, that's a lot. Okay, look. Look at them all. Worms. I bought mine from eBay. Got a package in the mail. Shredded newspaper, which actually I'm going to save in here. See what I got. Look. I got worms. A pound of them. That's a good pile right there. Oh, look at, look at them all. It's a good wad. That one's pregnant. Oh, well, that's horrible. I can hear him. <laughs> um, because you can't really go out and get worms out of your garden. Well, you can get worms out of your garden, but they're not really the good composting kind of worms. These are... <laughs> I think it's pronounced Asenia fetida. They're special. They prefer the top layer of the ground, and most of the earthworms you get in your garden, they come to the ground, but they actually live like pretty far under, a few feet under. And these here live up at the top level. Usually when you're digging, this is the kind you'll find. I mean, I don't even know if these are native, but anyway. <laughs> I 
And you can use them to get rid of a lot of waste. Like composting waste like vegetable matter and newspapers. One pound of worms can eat, on average, a half pound of garbage a day. And you can keep, you should keep it like in a dark place. They don't like vibration and they don't like light. So I, I, the container I have them in now is actually not very good because it's see-through. But I didn't have this ready, my bin. So I had to keep them somewhere and I didn't want to keep them in the bag they came in. First you need a bunch of newspaper and I'm going to give you a link to a website or the URL to the website that tells you how to find out how much paper you need and everything. Uh, because I don't remember and I don't feel like doing the math and I'm not really going to do it right now anyway because I should have started last night. You can just use regular old newspaper or junk mail if you have a shredder. If you use, if you know they use soy based ink and you would feel okay using paper, that paper as mulch in your vegetable garden where you were going to eat it then you can probably use it as bedding for the worms. Now what you need to do, you can either shred it or you can rip it up, which, well you have to shred it somehow, but you can eat like tear it into one inch strips or you can put it through the shredder or whatever. But you have to stick it in here and cover it with water overnight so it gets really moist and then you want to, I hate that word, <laughs> but you don't want it sopping wet. You want it like about the t consistency of a sponge after it's been wrung out. So if you squeeze it, you can get some moisture droplets, but you don't want a lot of water in there, or otherwise they'll drown. So you should do that overnight to give all the um, paper a chance to soak up the water. And then you have to prepare the bin. I'll go do it outside and do that now. It's going to be awkward because I don't have my cordless drill because I left it at Kathy's and I don't have an extension cord either so it's going to suck to do this all close to the wall. But anyway, you just drill holes in it, drainage holes and air holes. 